Absolutely. Well, good evening. And if I may, before we get started, I'd like to say kudos to you, Zora, and the FAMOPA board for your innovative approaches to sharing photography with all of us. Thanks. And congratulations on making this important annual fundraising event safe and healthy. I'm pleased to be here, albeit remotely, and to support tonight's program. And one more quick note, I hate reading scripts, but that's where I am today, so my apology, but I promise not to put you to sleep. <laughs> so in answer to your question, Zora, for me personally, being surrounded by art expands my mind, expands my imagination. I believe that art provides a conduit between dialogue and mental stimulation. Being exposed to art is something positive one can focus on. And of course, given 2020, focusing on the positives is so very important, literally even for our sanity. Absolutely. So 20 years ago, quite honestly, I was going through a relationship breakup and I was searching for positive variables that I could explore and I could have gone in so many different directions. However, I started attending art events, art auctions, galleries, and museums. And about that same time, I started collecting. For me, this has been a journey from simply art piquing my interest to now having a passion for the arts and being fully committed to both collecting and supporting. Absolutely. Well, you know, first, um, I'll say that Tampa Bay area is so fortunate to have so many patrons who support the arts. You simply just have to look as close as the list of philanthropists who have been honored at this annual FAMOPA event. It is in part those of you watching this video tonight who have inspired me. And for that, I say thank you. To the question I've supported, to your question, I've supported FAMOPA's general operating funds through several grants, which go towards salaries, exhibitions, instructional photography classes, as well as programs for the children and underprivileged. Another way I get involved with the art community and specifically FAMOPA is in addition to supporting the museum through membership, I also serve on the museum's advisory committee. It's so important to encourage others to be engaged and to share their ideas. With that said, involvement is as easy as clicking on a museum's website or homepage. Obviously 2020 has forced museums and artists to be more creative, but the way I see it, that's resulted in tremendous benefits and that we can now immerse ourselves in so many more exhibitions and artist discussions. Finally, another way I continue to be involved through is through FAMOPA's legacy program, donations provided to the museum via one will, one's will or trust. Thank you. Actually, even prior to getting that question, I've supported specific events and exhibitions that interest me. The upcoming Skyway 2021 exhibition and Faces of Philanthropy are two such programs. As you already know, Tonight is our opportunity to celebrate photography and the importance of this local museum. And again, the legacy program is just another way to offer support. Again, thank you, Zora. Thank you for the board for adapting to this current environment. I am humbled and honored to have a part in this annual celebration. Sincere thanks to everyone who supports the arts. But today and tonight specifically, please support the Florida Museum of Photographic Arts. I know you agree with me, whether you're a member of the museum staff, a vital volunteer, or someone who generously supports the museum financially, even through membership. Now more than ever, your contributions could not be more important. Again, thank you, stay safe, stay healthy, cheers.